Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode of Imagination Mega Park. In the previous episode, um, I added several more rides to the Mystery Marsh, like this Star Flyer, this uh, looping swinging ship, and this weird ride where guests can sacrifice themselves. And in today's episode, um, I want to um, add the last ride to the Subsea Sands area. Now, yes, you can see there's uh, quite a bit of uh, land here along the edge that hasn't been uh, developed yet. So that's what I'm going to do in this episode. I have several rides in mind for these areas. And uh, I also want to build uh, to make some buildings to make it look like a, like a little town. Now, um, before I start building anything, um, I want to uh, once again name several of my staff members after people who commented on the last video. Right here you can see the new additions to my staff in the park. Now, um, in the last video we got quite a few uh, people who commented, who told me they have never commented on a video before. Um, so yeah, all I can say is uh, don't be shy, um, please let me know what you think of these videos. Um, I read all your replies and uh, I always really enjoy uh, receiving them. So uh, yeah, don't be shy and leave a reply. Alright, um, I'm gonna start off uh, by uh, building a ride over here. I think it will be uh, fun to have uh, sort of like a drag race, but with some really slow sea creatures. Alright, here you can see the turtle drag race. Now, I know um, real sea turtles are actually quite speedy. Um, hey, I decided not to make them any slower. I think this is a good speed. I did vary the speed of some of the turtles a little bit. So in some races, uh, the, the one of them will win. In the other races, it will be uh, a little bit closer. You will probably see that uh, when the next pair of turtles uh, leaves. Let's see if we can uh, see them in action. There they go. Now you can see one of them is actually a little bit faster, so here the one on the left will actually win. Well, yeah, it's a really simple design, but uh, I think it uh, it, uh, it looks pretty funny. Now, um, I will add a little bit more detailing uh, later, but I don't want to be stuck in this area for the entire video. So I'm going to uh, move on to the next area for now. And the next area is over here. Now, uh, one thing you may not know is that uh, when you build a mini golf um, with the right vehicle editor plugin, it is actually uh, possible to change the um, vehicles on this ride. Well, normally it's uh, it's of course guests that are just walking around and playing golf, but um, yeah, for example, we could have uh, dolphins or even uh, turtles uh, or guests riding turtles playing golf. I think that would be a uh, really fun to have here. So yeah, let's go make a turtle mini golf.
Alright, the turtle golf is now ready. I think it looks uh, hilarious. Yeah, you can actually uh, change the uh, vehicle type on a mini golf and then you can have other vehicles uh, uh, for the guests to ride while they play mini golf. Now in class action mega, mega park I actually did this with uh, monster trucks and yeah here I did it with turtles. I think it looks pretty funny. Now of course uh, an advantage that turtles have over uh, humans is that they can actually uh, um, well, they can swim through the water uh, over here without it looking very silly. So uh, yeah, that's a, that's a nice thing. Now I also recolored some of these golf holes to give it some variation. And I put the uh, decorations all along the track here, as you can see. Now I also made a little section here across the path. Uh, there's also several golf holes here. Also a submarine uh, here in the middle. Uh, yeah, just some more decoration here. Also, I think it's funny how the dolphins pass over this ride uh, quite often. So yeah, I'm uh, pretty happy with uh, how this ride turned out. Now, something which this area still sorely uh, needs is um, some uh, yeah, places for the guests to buy some food and drinks. Now, we still have a few open spots remaining. Uh, we have a spot over here and I can probably also uh, still find a spot over here. So uh, yeah, uh, what I will do next is uh, add some uh, um, restaurants for the guests to uh, buy some food and drinks. Alright, I made two areas for the guests to buy some food and some drinks. Here's the first one. Now, I, I tried to make it look like some sort of food trucks, but in the form of submarines. So here's the sub market. And of course, I just couldn't resist the opportunity to actually build a sub sandwich stall here. So that's what this uh, submarine uh, sells. So we have sub soda, sub subs, and sub seafood. So yeah, not quite a nice selection for the guests, I think. Also a toilet, because uh, the guests uh, seem to desperately uh, be needing that. And you can uh, just see the huge amount of guests that actually use uh, use this area. So uh, probably a good thing that uh, we built this here. Now I made another area for the guests to get some food and some drinks here on the other side. Um, yeah, just uh, two simple buildings over here. And I called this uh, dolphin drinks and... Uh, food or something <laughs> I don't actually remember also a toilet here hidden in the cave and right next to here this made a really simple uh, carousel and replaced the vehicles with some dolphins uh, it's not even a shoestring um, there's actually a station here so it's really very simple right now um, there's one more thing that I want to add uh, in this episode uh, well, we have two more spots over here with some space uh, remaining um, the problem with these spots is that the dolphins pass right overhead, so I cannot build anything too tall. But something which I really want to build in the park is a swinging ship, which we, but one that's, which actually uses the shark vehicles um, yeah, as, as the ship. I saw um, Nati's Dreamland do that in one of her contest entries, but I think that will be really fitting for this park. So I'm just going to uh, put this uh, slightly tweaked path layout here. And that way I'll create some space to make a new swinging ship here. And uh, I'll probably also fill up this area right over here. <laughs>
All right, I've added several more uh, attractions here in the back. So here you can see this new swinging ship in the form of uh, a shark. A oh, lot of uh, lots of people heading for this uh, ride. Lots of people heading for this area in general because I added some new stuff here. But yeah, I'm I'm really pleased with how this uh, ride turned out. I used quite a bit of uh, well, quite a few different uh, ride types here to make this structure. Here you can see some single rail track, some uh, dinghy slide track. I also put some uh, multi-dimension cozy track here to serve as something that looks like an engine. A bit of monorail track here in the middle. So yeah, lots of stuff. Now uh, over here, um, yeah, I wanted to fill up this area with something nice. So uh, I put another uh, bumper cars ride or flying saucers ride actually. And I replaced the vehicles with uh, dolphins. <laughs> yeah, really simple idea. But um, I think it's, uh, it's a fun ride. Not really sure how much these dolphins enjoy uh, continuously bumping into each other. And finally, um, here I made another uh, a little restaurant. I put another one of these octopus on top. Now I had to move the octopus a little bit because uh, the dolphins uh, went right through it. But over here they just uh, pass by it on both sides. Yeah, and with that, um, yeah, I think that's uh, enough additions uh, for this episode. So just to do a little uh, recap. Well, um, let's start where I started. So first I created this uh, turtle uh, drag race uh, over here. Yeah, I think it's a really fun ride. I put a little bit of speed variation so you can see sometimes one turtle wins and sometimes uh, the other one wins. Now, over here I made a turtle mini golf. I decorated it uh, quite heavily. And uh, yeah, yeah, I really enjoy how it uh, turned out. Then after that I made a few restaurants. Here you can see a little... Uh, Food court with some food trucks, or I should say, food submarines. I also made a few uh, sm small restaurants here on the other side, and a little dolphin carousel. And finally, I added a shark swinging ship and uh, dolphin bumper cars. And of course, this little restaurant over here. Now, with those additions, uh, the subsea sands area is now almost completely filled up. There's still uh, some small areas that still need some love. But uh, I'll save that for a, a later episode of the park. Right, uh, another patron joined uh, recently. So in this uh, episode, I'm going to give him a nice spot in the park. I think it will be fun to actually have him walk around on top of this uh, swinging ship. All right, see Ulrich234. Thank you so much for becoming a patron and supporting my channel. It is uh, really appreciated. And I hope you enjoy your spot here on top of the new swinging ship. I think it's a really nice uh, location to be dancing around. Probably not the safest, but for sure you will have a lot of guests uh, looking at you. Now, and if you're watching this video, and you also want to support my channel and also get a cool spot in the park as an entertainer. Um, yeah, you, you can find a link to my Patreon channel in the video description. And the support is really appreciated. Alright, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, if you enjoyed watching my build, please consider giving this video a like. It would really help out my channel. And if you want to see more videos like, th like these, uh, please don't forget to subscribe. Alright, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you again in the next one. See you later.